channel channel I'm not being and welcome to another video here on the channel so I've been photographing for a few years now and with everything you do you always need to start somewhere I feel like I have developed and when I look at the photos I take today I can't see a big difference but when you start you need to start with something and that's what I'm gonna talk in this video I so when I started I start off with GH5 that I'm still using today that I'm filming on right now and with that I had this meta boost attached to it with a Canon 2470mm You can use it for so much because it's a 24 to 70 you can use it for landscape you can use it for portrait and that's an awesome feature for for a lens it's a quite heavy lens but i like it because i have big hands and i feel like it fits so great with the camera and in my hands it's just easy to hold the lens will withstand some beating <laughs> so it's an awesome lens to like bring out in the woods which I usually do. It's often attached to the GH5, which I usually use to film with. When I got it, it's a secondhand lens, to be honest. And when I got it, I didn't notice to start with, but I've noticed that there's, it's not that the sharpness of the lens, it's not perfect. It's not my fault that the photos aren't sharp enough. When I use it on a tripod, even then, it's like 50-50 chance that the photo is gonna be a little bit hazy. It looks like it's something like it's not sharp around the edges, which annoys me very, very much. Without that, the lens would be awesome. I wouldn't be needing any more lenses. I have my prime lenses. I have my 70 to 200 lens, which is fixed, which I like. This one is not, it's not fixed which may work if I'm just holding it. But the problem is when I put it on a tripod and I've tried to mount it on my gimbal, the lens is too heavy. Which is sad because I would love to have it. I only got the mirrorless gimbal which can't really hold a bigger camera with a bigger lens. The GH5 with a 90mm lens works fine. I think the other prime lenses that I have will work just fine with it but the Canon lens is a little bit too heavy. Can't get rid of the lens even if it has problems with the photos. I love the lens. It's such a good filming lens. It got a story behind it and it's the one I started with. I haven't got that far, but hopefully in the future I can look back and see like that's the, that's the lens that got me where I am today. Even if it's not what I do right now, it could be something else, but the lens is what started everything. The same with the GH5 camera. Over a few years, I have done this. I have saved up money, bought new stuff, and I, to be honest, I've looked at new 24 to 70, but there's, they're quite expensive. This lens does the job, and for the rest, like for the photographing, I have all my prime lenses that I can use, so there's no problem, but it's a nice lens of just, if I just go for a walk, I can, put it on my my camera and just it's a fast lens of using and as i said you need to start somewhere with something to be able to work your way up and this video is not like oh yeah you shouldn't buy that lens it's just that i want to tell how i feel about the lens i just want to talk about the sentimental value it was there when i started and it feels good to use it from time to time and i wish i could trust it more to use it more so this was a little bit more of a special video, I would say it's not, I'm not showing you anything. I just want to talk about the lens I love to hate. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you like it. If you do, leave a thumbs up, you should consider subscribe to the channel. Go follow me on Instagram where I upload some photos some, from time to time. And I hope to see you in the next video. Hora.